Very few people know that one of the most common reasons for not being able to lose weight, despite diet and exercise, is insulin resistance. This condition occurs when your body's cells become less responsive to insulin, a hormone that helps regulate blood sugar. When insulin resistance sets in, your body needs more insulin to keep blood sugar levels under control. This can lead to several issues that make weight loss incredibly challenging, such as increased fat storage, increased hunger, slower metabolism, and decreased energy expenditure, making it harder for your body to burn calories during exercise. Insulin resistance also sets the stage for other health concerns like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, dementia, or Alzheimer's, and even many types of cancers. So, if you're struggling to lose weight or simply want to optimize your health, addressing insulin resistance might be the key. So, in today's video, let's learn about some easy and effective ways to lower insulin resistance within just two weeks. These tips will help you normalize insulin levels, reduce blood sugar spikes, and take control of your metabolic health. Tip 1. Limit refined carbs and added sugars. Reducing your intake of refined carbs and added sugars is arguably one of the most powerful ways to lower insulin resistance fast. These foods tend to increase blood sugar and insulin levels. Refined carbs include things like white bread, pasta, white rice, pastries, baked goods, potato chips, crackers, pretzels, sugary cereals, and granola bars. Added sugars often come as hidden sugars in condiments, sauces, sodas, and sweetened drinks. So, if you want to enhance insulin sensitivity, you might have to lower your intake of these foods and try to replace them with whole fiber-rich carbs instead, like oats, quinoa, beans, lentils, fruits, and veggies. The extra fiber from these foods also helps to prevent blood sugar spikes coming from sugary or starchy components in your food. Tip 2. Consume non-starchy vegetables. Taking non-starchy veggies may be another effective way to improve insulin sensitivity. For that, you'll have to focus on eating more leafy greens like spinach, lettuce, cabbage, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. Other veggies like cucumbers, bell peppers, mushrooms, onions, cauliflower, and zucchini also seem like good non-starchy options. The fiber content in these veggies promotes feelings of fullness, preventing you from overeating and munching on unhealthy or high-calorie snacks. This might not only help you lose those extra pounds, but also improve your insulin sensitivity. Consider taking at least two to three servings of different veggies per day. You can roast them, saute them, add them to eggs, blend them into smoothies, or enjoy big salads. Tip 3. Consume more healthy fats. Don't be afraid of eating more healthy fats and even using healthy oils for cooking. According to studies, foods rich in monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats can effectively reduce insulin resistance. In fact, a 2023 study analyzed 15 randomized controlled trials. Results showed that replacing saturated fats with monounsaturated fatty acids led to a 4.4% increase in insulin sensitivity index and a 4.6% decrease in fasting insulin levels. Additionally, HbA1c, a long-term blood sugar marker, decreased by 0.21%. Some good sources of healthy fats include avocados and avocado oil, nuts like almonds, walnuts, and pecans, nut butter, olive oil and olives, coconut oil, fatty fish like salmon and sardines, and chia seeds and flax seeds. And remember that replacing saturated fats with healthy fats can be much more effective than simply increasing healthy fat intake. So, take more healthy fats and lower your intake of unhealthy fats like those found in processed and fried foods. Tip 4. Choose whole, high-fiber fruits. Fruits can be great for lowering insulin resistance. You just need to choose the right ones. Focus on whole, high-fiber, low-glycemic fruits like berries, apples, pears, oranges, and grapefruit, and stone fruits like peaches, plums, and nectarines. Due to their fiber content, these fruits digest more slowly and won't cause rapid spikes in your blood sugar, which is key to lowering insulin resistance. You can take one to two servings of these fruits per day. And do remember that fruit juices are not a healthy alternative to fruits. 
the juicing or filtering process eliminates most of their fiber content, so their sugar and caloric value is much higher than whole fruits. For reference, an average-sized fresh apple is about 80% juice and 20% fiber. Without this fiber amount, the 100% pure apple juice will dramatically increase your blood sugar, rather than digesting and absorbing slowly, further contributing to insulin resistance. So eating fresh, whole fruits is always better than drinking fruit juices. Tip 5. Stay hydrated. When you're dehydrated, your blood becomes thicker, making it difficult for your body to transport insulin to help regulate your blood sugar. This can indirectly affect your insulin resistance. Aim for at least 2 to 3 liters of water per day to help keep your blood glucose levels more stable. Some common signs of dehydration are fatigue, headache, dizziness, and dry mouth or lips. Pay attention to these cues from your body and drink up when you feel thirsty. Tip 6. Engage in regular exercise. Simply staying physically active helps your muscles better absorb and utilize glucose for energy. Regular exercise also helps you lose weight, enhance metabolism, reduce inflammation, and relieve stress, all of which play a key role in how your body responds to insulin. In fact, a 2019 review of 39 studies shows that aerobic exercise increased insulin sensitivity by an average of 21% in individuals with type 2 diabetes and prediabetes. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate activity daily like brisk walking, swimming, cycling, or strength training. Tip 7. Lose excess body fat, especially belly fat. Carrying excess body fat, especially in the abdominal area, is linked to higher insulin resistance. In fact, studies show that individuals with obesity may have two to five-fold higher insulin resistance compared to those with normal weight. One 2021 study observed a whopping 25% improvement in insulin sensitivity with just 7% weight loss in individuals with obesity. There's no need to rush and lose a significant amount of fat in the shortest amount of time. Focus on losing no more than 1 to 2 pounds per week in a healthy, sustainable way. Tip 8. Get plenty of high-quality sleep. If you want to lower insulin resistance, it's important to relax, de-stress, and get enough high-quality sleep daily. When you do not get enough sleep, hormones like insulin and cortisol can stay elevated and contribute to insulin resistance. So, aim for 7-9 to nine hours of sleep per night, and try to keep a consistent schedule, even on weekends. Tip 9. Give intermittent fasting a try. Intermittent fasting has become popular for its wide range of health benefits, and studies show that it can also help lower insulin resistance. In fact, a 2022 study investigated the effects of time-restricted feeding, which is a type of intermittent fasting, in individuals with obesity. Participants saw a 31% improvement in the insulin resistance index after just 12 weeks. There are many ways to do time-restricted feeding. One is the 16 to 8 method, in which you restrict your meals within an 8-hour window and fast for the remaining 16 hours. Another one is the 5 to 2 method, in which you'll be eating normally for 5 days and restricting calories on 2 non-consecutive days. Tip 10. Manage your stress levels. Stress naturally triggers your body to release more cortisol and other hormones that can directly contribute to insulin resistance. Make time every day to relieve stress through yoga deep breathing, meditation, listening to relaxing music, spending time outdoors, laughing and socializing with friends, journaling, and getting a massage. Tip 11. Address your nutritional deficiencies. Certain vitamins and minerals like vitamin D, magnesium, zinc, and chromium play a direct role in managing blood sugar and insulin. Deficiencies in these nutrients can lead to poor blood sugar control or insulin resistance. So make sure you get adequate amounts of these nutrients from foods or supplements if needed. You can speak to your doctor for personalized advice. Tip 12. Try apple cider vinegar. Consuming raw organic apple cider vinegar can also help lower insulin resistance. It has been shown to slow down the digestion of carbohydrates and sugars and improve insulin sensitivity. 
In fact, a 2018 study showed a 12.3% reduction in fasting blood sugar and a 25% improvement in insulin sensitivity index in individuals with type 2 diabetes who consumed ACV for just three months. Many experts recommend taking one to two tablespoons of ACV diluted with water, preferably before a high-carb meal to prevent blood sugar spikes. But if you already have diabetes or other existing health conditions and are taking medications, be sure to ask your doctor before making ACV a regular part of your diet. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.